seeing this sign and this school makes me think that I'm in a good area, but is it so? I have no idea. Greetings from Colombo, Sri Lanka. This is my first time in Colombo and first time in Sri Lanka. And to be honest guys, Colombo is one of those cities that I have heard lots of bad things. Yeah. A lot of not so good things. So now let's go and see how it's in real life. Let's go and make the first impressions of Colombo of the capital of Sri Lanka, the city that everyone I have been talking with has always been saying to me go away, leave it, don't stay let's see, hello and that made me even more curious to come and see for myself what it's like this is some area that's not far away from that French school and some cool apartment buildings and my hotel where I'm staying all of that is maybe two three hundred meters back only and here I'm walking by this canal or maybe a river I don't know looks like a canal and I'm heading towards the beach I don't know what beach it is I just found it on the map hello my friend hello Let's go and see what what it's like. I hope it's not the worst area. That wouldn't be nice to be in the worst place. I think it won't be. Because generally my feeling is very nice so far. Yeah, I haven't seen almost anything only a couple of streets near my hotel but uh, the feeling arriving the airport airport experience all of that many you think that it might be a nice place it might be much nicer than everyone is telling me that's the first feeling I was getting I was thinking that it's gonna be somewhat similar to India, but I'm feeling more like in Thailand. I have been feeling so far. Let's see. Let's see how and if it will change after this my first walk towards the beach. More or less two kilometers in that direction. I see some shops, some restaurants here on this side and a big shopping mall on the other side and Buddha, there is a big statue of Buddha very nice looking statue you see, Sri Lanka is majority Buddhist country same like Thailand we go how do we go I think we just run we just run for it this is how we cross the street in Colombo okay but uh, this one it doesn't look like a Buddhist temple I think it's a Hindu Wow. Strictly taking photo is prohibited. I believe that it's about going out inside and taking photos from the inside. One of the things that I'm really pleasantly surprised about Colombo so far is that 
it looks like very clean very little trash on the streets it's a nice thing to see oops I think I have made the wrong turn let's see if it's possible to go through no idea there is no road on Google must be okay this is what I was expecting to see quite a lot but uh, you see it very little in my experience so far in first less than 24 hours we are getting out I think there will be a bigger road man is selling something in this local neighborhood like I said I have no idea what area it is a good, bad upper class lower class middle class central, not central the way I chose this area to stay is I looked on the map I saw that there are quite a lot of hotels that's it found one that I liked and that's it that's why I am here right now walking towards the beach there look at the sign in three languages English on top I believe that might be Sri Lankan and uh, in the middle maybe Tamil one of languages they speak in India in southern India because as far as I know there are a lot of Tamil in Tamils in uh, Sri Lanka yeah look oh no this is all in English 550 meters to the beach in that direction again how do we go across I think a run I don't like it but uh, you have to do what you have to do I have a feeling that this may not be the most touristy <laughs> beach but it has a lot of reviews so it shouldn't also be the worst the sea And the railroad tracks. Uh -huh. I had no idea that there is a railroad by the beach. Beach is only for footprints. I don't know why but um, maybe it's because of proximity and how the sand looks after this black line it feels very much like in Goa, India 
or in some more southern place in India. It looks not great because of all the on the beach button. It feels good to be by the beach. I haven't been by the beach for some time. Oh, there is a train going. Our first sighting of a Sri Lankan train. Looks like a very popular mode of transportation. I see lots of people. As far as I know, it's also like a mode of transportation to get around within the city, not only between cities, but also within Colombo. I just saw a rat. It's hiding somewhere there. Look, oh yeah, this is a train stop. Well, uh, what the train stop by the beach? I don't know, yeah, it doesn't look nice, this old trash, but uh, I really like Goa and uh, this, in a way, really reminds me of Goa and So yeah, I can't put it into words, but uh, makes me feel very good here Makes me wanna go for a swim makes me think that the rest of Sri Lanka where we will be going with Una where there will be nice beaches might be super cool places yeah they might be super cool places if also a city beaches like this for example here no trash and looking so good let's go back storm may be coming and I would like to make it somewhere under the roof before it starts hotel relation AC non AC rooms I'm not really feeling well and I think that's something related to food in Nepal yeah some of that wasn't good for me uh, but other than that here in Colombo so far I have been feeling very good and also during the arrival like I said arrival was really smooth yeah the airport isn't like the newest but uh, it's good it's it feels nice and comfortable to be there uh, it's also convenient to get from there to the city I was thinking that I will need to go out and huggle with some uh, taxi or tuk-tuk drivers but in reality they are very strongly promoting ride ride hauling apps like uber and pick me could be pick me so they have also special pickup points for these apps and in reality it's super easy to get mode of transportation from the airport and the 30 kilometer ride which was more than one hour cost me only a little bit less than 10 euro on the big street again gold let's go in this in this direction another thing that I like to see was that at the airport they have at least one really nice convenience store nice shop <laughs> it was nice to see a good shop uh, yeah the immigration for me took like one minute give your passport that's it I had paid for my visa online so that's why it was so smooth and easy yep 
and that I think is it and, uh, and also the ride to this city I was surprised to see how clean and nice the streets looked how nice the shops and cafes and everything looked because even though I had no like expectations I had low expectations but yeah it looked very nice looked very good I think I want some juice maybe something fresh Oh no, this is only fruits. Here you buy fruits, not juice. It starts starting to rain. Yeah, I really enjoyed my arrival. I was ready that it's gonna be harder to get transportation, but it's gonna be harder to get the get through immigration but it's gonna be rougher on the streets dirtier with more trash garbage but no as you can see it's same like in Thailand and Thailand is a good example it's, it feels more like in Thailand than in India yep it looks more like in Thailand or in Malaysia I think let's finish this video here I'll go sit somewhere inside have some small food some juice maybe and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video see ya